my gloves are still wet from Wednesday. I'm about to head out on a scooter ride, meet a couple of riders in Virginia, so let's go. Just incredible the amount of traffic around here. Jaywalkers. Oh, somebody hit his car, that one guy. Look at that. I guess he called the cops. Look at this. Man, that's terrible. That looks like it broke the axle. Jesus. For God's sakes, his pants are falling off. Jesus Christ, these people. Okay, cyclist in the middle of the road. I just need... Oh, come on, man. What the hell are you doing? Oh, my God. What the hell are you... Speed up, dummies. Gee. Yeah, welcome to Georgetown. Great. Georgetown used to be hip. Not anymore. Man, this used to be my stompy ground for a few years when I had a good job. All right. I believe this is Clarendon. Fillmore... Quite a few people. You see less masks here. They're less afraid. Yeah, Northern Virginia kind of just looks like this. Come through here a couple times. One time I bought a RAV4 here. Look at this, Virginia now has changed. Now it's like more suburban. I guess this is called Fairfax. Look at that, that's a Ford Bronco. That's a new Bronco. I haven't I haven't really seen them in the wild, but uh, I'm a fan ever since like I saw OJ. This is seven corners. This is like so confusing It's like roads everywhere man that took a while to oh am I going to right way? That took a while that freaking light over there was just Oh my god, this is so annoying. What a horrible Intersection here who the hell ever designed that? Oh, here they are. How's it going, man? All right, I am about to try this. Wow, look at this thing. Ugh. Man, this is pretty substantial. This is a, oh. This is a 300, so I'm, I, he is riding my bike, and I'm riding the 300. This feels like a very substantial bike. <laughs> ah, this is damn. This is really nice. This is uh, the handlebars feel like a motorcycle. Damn. This is quite a big difference in quality. You know, I've always been a little bashful of the Vespas because they're so expensive. But look, that's a Vespa. This is a Vespa 300. So I don't know much about these, but today I'm going to find out what these things are all about. It feels really good. Suspension is really nice. I can go over these bumps and it doesn't feel like anything. So I've never ridden a Vespa 300 like this. I wanted to get a 200, but the 200 is carbureted. You know, carbureted bikes are, I don't know. I like the fuel injection. This is ultra smooth. I can barely feel the engine, but yet there's a little vibration. This is so stable. And it's comfortable. The sitting position on it, it feels much more stable and more comfortable. And I think the seat is much better quality. You know, I guess you do get what you pay for. It, look at that, smooth. What size wheels are these? I think they're smaller. I'm looking at that one, I'm comparing it. So that's what I would look like from the back. And you see, they do not look odd the two people on a vespa do not look crazy but this one i don't know like it feels like really pretty tight look at that brakes are quite amazing like the quality is just so so nice look at that it's snappy this thing look at that so that's a gts 300 ie and he's riding my sh 150 there 
man it looks terrible with that plastic I really should probably order some new plastic for it this feels extremely stable in every condition like I hit potholes and stuff it doesn't send you flying or anything very different than the um, the buddy 125 you know the buddy 125 you hit a pothole and it's just like sends you flying this thing is just so stable yeah it feels very much like what you would expect from a high quality bike you know when you ride like a ninja 250 you get used to that suspension you know it's like budget suspension this doesn't feel like it's budget it doesn't feel like there's like it feels like the suspension really like floats you through the through the road it's comfortable but the vespas are kind of like the porsche of the scooter world they really are they're kind of amazing because they're kind of like a timeless design i think everybody loves the styling of the vespas and even these modern vespas have not really changed the styling very much they're still they still have that old school look and it's the same thing with Porsche Porsche even though they have very new Porsches the old ones look just as good as the new ones and it's the same thing with this that's nice he let us in surprisingly with the smaller wheels this bike handles I think just as well as the SH with the big wheels and look at this road I have never really ridden around here I've always wanted to but you have to kind of fight traffic to get here and normally I'm intimidated by rich people and rich hey that's another Ford Bronco I'm usually intimidated by rich people and rich people live over here these scooters look really good I think um, if somebody's got money they're they're gonna get a Vespa like this but they are very expensive and I think that's the the only reason I've shied away from from Vespas is the uh, up the upfront cost of these bikes because you can get a Japanese bike for a fraction of the cost that this costs one two oh I wanted to race but <laughs> look at that <laughs> So the SH, man, you know, one of the advantages the SH has got is that it's very slim, very tiny. But when you're riding this, it kind of feels much better because it protects your legs a whole lot more. And the SH is pretty decent. The one thing I like about the SH is that it's got a flat floor. And this one's got a little bit of a hump. Welcome to Brentsville Superette. I have no idea what this is. Look at that. That's a big bike. Actually, when you step off of it, it doesn't feel... Look at it. I like this. The way you can grab it here. That's really cool. No kickstand. That's... Wow. Look at that. Integrated. Oh, that is fancy. There's very few things that are Italian that I would like to own. You know, I think usually I like to own Italian things from a distance like Ducatis it's like when you, when you consider the maintenance it's like why would I want a Ducati but this bike this GT300 feels good you know it's just so styling so sophisticated oh what's up with this traffic I'm looking at my bike over there and like that big crack in the plastic it's kind of weird seeing your bike from a distance normally I'm riding it so this is so cool it does feel really good to uh, ride with a bunch of scooters I don't think I've yeah I've only done like a scooter ride one time and I was leading it through like the northern part of uh, Maryland the cool thing is that you never really get any tickets oh you see my brake lights are dragging I'm having an issue with my rear brake I think in my mind I have the feeling that everything that's Italian is bad to maintain but these Italians on this scooter did kind of like a good job you know you pop open the seat and then you have this bucket compartment you just kind of slide out you don't have to unbolt anything you just kind of slide it out 
and you have access to the entire engine. I think this is around Manassas, the battlefield. Look at this bike. All right, I wasn't expecting to ride off-road, but this bike is pretty darn good off-road. He's got like Cessna's. That's incredible that he's got a freaking airplane in his yard. That is awesome. This, he's got two airplanes. Holy cow. Look at that guy. That look, it's like an old British bike theme thing going. Look at that tractor on the road. Yeah. No problem passing these tractors at all on this thing. It's got plenty of power. Time to fill up. What I like is that it's got a nice grab rail here. So you can kind of like lift it off. And it's also got this. This also folds back, so that's a nice touch. Very easy to like make turns. First is the suspension. On this is really good. And second, it's the fit and finish. The fit and finish on this is a level above oh, a, a level above the Japanese variety. And I was not expecting that. It looks like a small scooter. You know, it doesn't have that maxi scooter look that it looks like a motorcycle with tons of plastic. You basically can kind of get away what you can get away with just parking on the sidewalk, looking super cute. All of the great things that scooter riders need. On a, you know, a maxi scooter like a Silver Wing, eh, you pretty much got a big motorcycle. You know, when you jump from one bike to the other, then the differences are really apparent. And it's true. This bike rattles a lot, but I think it's my GPS, my windscreen, all of this stuff that is rattling. Normally, it would not be rattling as much. Let me see if I can make a left here. Well, Squids, thanks for coming along with me on this scooter ride. Look at that. Look at how long her hair is. That can't be her hair. <laughs> kind of stuck here. The cops won't bother me.